How's it going everybody? Josh KI6NAZ. I'm making this video because I think time is of the essence. This is a $60 computer that is being sold by Micro Center. It is deeply discounted. I think you should go buy it. Let me explain why. So we're looking at the Evolve 3 Maestro that is being sold by Micro Center for $60. At the time of recording, you could buy this online and have it shipped. Now it is in-store only. So make sure you keep that in mind. Or $99 off of eBay. The link is in the description. But let me explain why I think this is good for ham radio operators. It is running Windows 10 Professional Education Edition. It's basically a full version of Windows. It is a Celeron 1.1 gigahertz processor. It's not fast. It has four gigs of internal RAM and it's about a 50, 60 gig, I don't know, gigabyte SSD. Again, I'm making this literally a couple hours after I open this because it's actually pretty good for ham radio. It has two USB-A ports, one on each side. It has a micro USB card reader. It has an LTE modem in it if you wanted to put a SIM card on it. Some people are actually opening this up, removing the LTE card, selling it, and making this even cheaper because we really don't need it for ham radio. You may vary. I don't care. That's not the point of this video. It also has a mini HDMI port. What is the point of this video? This thing charges off of 12 volts. Yeah. I put my power supply on 12 volts, 12 volts, plug this thing in, started charging. I moved it up to 13.8, which is often the highest charge voltage that you will get out of like a LifePo battery, like a BioNO, for instance, and it charges. It'll actually float the charge all the way down until the battery starts degrading uh, before you actually stop charging this thing. For reference, it draws 1.57 amps when charging and also playing a video at the same time at 13 0.16 volts. Now on the ham radio side, I ran WSJTX. That's the first thing I did and connected it to the 705. Not a slowdown. It had no issues with decoding. There was lots of signals, so there was something for it to do. Uh, I have not loaded SDR Uno on this yet, which is a an SDR software for decoding um, off of your direct conversion SDRs, like an SDR play. It, I, it's not a, it's, it's a $60 laptop. I don't know what you want to say. It may chug a little bit, but um, if you'd like to low a little bit more on that, Ria's Hamshack, Ria, she just made a video on this laptop. Her local club informed her about it. Um, I found out about this during my live stream on July 6th, and Micro Center is still selling them. I don't know how much longer they'll have them. This normally runs for $120, so it's $60. It's a hell of a deal. Now, I'm making this video because there are a ton of people who have been wanting to get Raspberry Pis or Microsoft Surface Go devices to go in their Go bag or their ham radio bag, or maybe they want an extra laptop for the shack. I don't know. But people are waiting for devices that are really hard to get right now or are discontinued completely. So this is a really good option for those of you that are trying to buy an unobtainium Raspberry Pi. This is cheaper than most Raspberry Pis you can get, and it has the monitor, keyboard, and mouse, and different peripherals already on board killer deal. I can't say enough how good of a deal this is. With that said, it's a $60 laptop. It is the Baofeng of laptops. It's kind of a turd, but it works just fine for the applications you likely are running. If you are a speed demon and you're all about power and performance, don't buy this unless you want to buy it as a complete like SHTF laptop that you load up and put away because it charges on 12 volts. I don't know how else to like say how cool that is at a price that is just insane. Again, I'm not affiliated with this at all. This is not a review. I just got this, but I would rather these go in the hands of amateur radio operators before they go in the hands of anyone else because we can truly use that 12 volts. Also, you overlanders, you RVers, you people who run off of solar power as your primary means of charging things, native 12 volts, baby, off of your life post potentially. So get on board with that. now. Um, yes, it is. It is very flexy. You can hear it. It is. It is a cheap laptop. Uh, I'm not. I don't want to oversell this. It's. It's not good, but it works pretty well, and it's cheap. It's everything a ham is always asking for. 
if you think about it. Now, the eBay auction does mention 64 and 128 gigabytes for SSD storage. I have no confidence that the 128 actually exists or it wasn't something that was immediately sold. So if you have more insider information, post in the comments below. Honestly, I, I don't know what else to say other than Micro Center has the 64 gigabyte model. Um, that's the one I went with and I'm probably gonna buy more. So if you want one, you better get there before me. All right, so that's it. That's the fast video. Go get one if you haven't already uh, got it in your cart. I'm Josh, KI6NAZ. If you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. See ya. Now, you're pretty much filled in on... Chloe, shut up.